Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request you to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. And if you feel anywhere I am doing mistake or I am doing well, you give the feedback in the comment section. If your comments are positive, it will motivate me further to teach well. If anywhere I am doing mistake, if you are giving me some suggestions, I will accept the suggestions and I will do accordingly. Okay, I will modify myself. Okay, so let me read out the question. Construct a minimal DFA over alphabets A comma B for a long base L contains strings where every string A in every string A should not follow by B. Is it clear? If you see the previous video, we have discussed opposite to that one. A should be followed by B. Here we have taken an example that A should not follow by B. So if A should not follow by B, what are the long strings consist of in a long base L? Let me take the long base L. If you does not have A, then B does not worry, should not follow. So epsilon can come because if A is not there, B obviously will not come because A should not follow by B. Okay, so epsilon can come. There is no restrictions on the number of Bs. Only restriction is that if A comes, you should not get a B. Like previous case, you got a string called AB. Those kind of strings should not be allowed here because a followed by B is not allowed in this string. Okay. Now, A, A is allowed or not? Yeah, A can be followed by A, but A should not be followed by B. Any number of A should be accepted. Even single A should be accepted. All these things. So, this is a infinite long base. Am I right or not? Because it consists of infinite number of strings. So, we can say that it is an infinite long base. If it is an infinite long base, there may be a DFA or may not be a DFA. If it is there, what is the DFA? We will check it now. Q0 is the initial state. And an epsilon is there, so it should accept as a final state. Is it clear? Q0 is the initial state and epsilon is there in this long base L. So your initial state should act as a final state. Now even single A should accept. So on A from initial state, I should go to a final state called Q1. Okay, so single A is accepted. Now we will see any number of B's, it is a single B or any number of B's are coming, then it should be accepted because single B should be accepted, two B's should be accepted, three B's, any number of B's at the starting itself, we should accept. If they are coming in the starting itself, then we should accept. So my Initial state Q0 will have the B's also. So now if you see the Q0 on A we have represented Q0 on B we have a transition. Now Q1 on A what it is we will discuss. If you see a single A after that any number of A's can come. Then it is A is not followed by B which belongs to this long base L. Okay. So meaning is that if you have Q1 on A you can be there in the Q1 itself. So it will be accepted. Now, okay, let me write here. Okay. Now Q1 on B, what should I do? Q1 on B, there are two choices for me. Either I should go here or I should go here. And the third choice is something else I will discuss. Now we will see the each case. Q1 on B, if it is go here, then what will happen? Take the string AB. AB what will happen? Q0 on A, you are going to Q1. Q1 on B, you are going to Q0. Where Q0 is a final state. So if it is going to a final state, then I say that the string is accepted by the DFA. Whether it is belongs to long base L? No. Because they say that A should not be followed by B. But here A is followed by B. So it is not correct. So what I can say that whatever I have assumed is wrong. We will see. Can I consider here? If I consider here also, it will be same. Even it will also accept A, B. A and then B, you will reach to a state called Q1. From Q0 on A, you are going to Q1. Q1 on B, you are going to Q1. And Q1 is a final state. So I can say that A, B will be accepted if you keep the B itself. Then what should I do? I cannot keep it to A. I cannot keep it to Q1. So meaning is that on B, after A, B should not be followed. 
so it should go to a dead state then if you, if you see this a b what will happen q not on a is going to q1 q1 on b it is going to a state called d now d is a non final state so i can say that the string a b is not accepted by the dfa which does not belongs to long base l we'll take another example a b a a now whether it is belongs to long base l or not you check it and whether it is whether it is belongs to long base l no it does not belong to long base l because a is followed by b if it is there then my dfa should not accept it let's check it whether it is accepting it or not q not on a it is going to q1 q1 on b it is going to d d on a is going to d d on a it is going to d so it is d is a non final state so i can say that it the string a b a a is not accepted by df by the df which i have constructed and this does not belongs to long base l so what it is doing it is not accepting the strings which does not belongs to long base l we will see the strings which belongs to long base l whether it will be accepted or not b a a a now a is not followed by b but b is followed by a but that is not the thing a should not be followed by means a b should not come but b a can come so this one i will say that it belongs to long base l we will check it from q not on b you are in the q not itself q not on a it will go to q1 q1 on a it will go to q1 itself q1 on a it is q1 so now q1 is a final state if it is reaching to the final state what i can say it is accepted so the strings which are accepted by the dfa meaning is that the strings which belongs to long base l are accepted by the dfa the strings which does not belongs to long base l are not accepted by the dfa so i can say that this is the minimized dfa for the given long base l okay i hope you have understood if you does not understand or if you have any doubt feel free to ask it in the comment session and i will clear your doubts at it in the 24 hours less than 24 hours i am solving that one okay thank you so much